given that the sum of the first n differences or show that so we're going to question 2.2.3 so, show that the sum of the first n first difference of this pattern can be given as follows. So, what they are saying, they are saying that show that the sum of the first n first differences of this pattern can be given by this sum. So, what they are saying is that show that show that this, uh, the sum of the first n first differences can be given by this equation. So, they are giving you the equation that Sn is equal to 6n squared plus 3n. So, your, your equation was like this, your, your pattern. It was negative 3, 6, 27, and 6, 0, and so on. So now, when you found this difference here, it's 9, it's 21, it's 33. So they are saying that, show that this, sequ this sequence here, all the, 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 n, the, the n terms of this sequence have that sum, which means that you can calculate the sum of, of n terms, of whatever number of terms you want, using this equation. So what they are saying that show that this is the sum of this sequence here. So that's what basically they are asking you. They want you to show that if you want to sum a certain number of terms of this sequence, you can use this. So the way to show it is by finding is finding for for grade 12 level, for grade um, for high school level, is to find the sum of this, of these, the general term for the sum of this sequence. Then once you have it, it should look like that. Because what other people can do, for example, at university level, they can use some stuff called induction for all n is greater or equal to 1. So, but that is way too much for us at grade 12 level. So, level. so what we're going to do, to find the the sum for this, then once we have a sum for this compared to that, so what we should be doing is to okay say okay, we have the, this one. So we have this sequence that is 9, 21, 33. So now this is our sequence. So this is an arithmetic sequence. So now we want to find the general sum. You want to find the sum of this arithmetic sequence. So, find the difference between this, which is 12. So, you have the first term, you have the general, you have the com common difference, which is 12. So now, the next thing is to do, is to find the sum. So, to find the sum for this, Sn is equal to n over 2 into 2a, plus n minus 1 into d. So you use this equation for finding the sum of uh, an arithmetic sequence. So we want to general find the nth sum. So the nth sum is Sn is equal to n over 2 into 2a, which is what? Your a is, is 9 plus n minus 1 to d, which is 12. Then the next thing, just to simplify this, so it's n over 2 into 18 plus 12n, 12n minus 12, which is equal to n over 2 into um, uh, 18, 18 minus 12, 18 minus 12, that is 6, plus 12n. So, then, this time that, that's 6n over 2, 
this times that, that's 12 and squared over 2. So Sn is equal to 3n plus 6n squared. So if you want to find the sum of that first, first difference, this is the equation that you should be using. So let's see if it's the same as the one that they have given us. So six, uh, the sum is 6n squared plus 3n. And we have 3n plus 6n squared. So this is the same equation. So this is what they want you to show. So there's nothing complex about this. If you, mean, oh, but if you don't know or you're not sure, this is how to do it. So it's more like they wanted you to find the, the sum of that arithmetic sequence, which is the first difference of a quadratic equation. So that's why you end. Then you go to the next question.